Greetings, YouTube. If you are familiar with my channel at all, you know I can be Kabam's biggest critic when it comes to trash offers, including epic trash offers, sometimes named by them themselves. But I am also the biggest fan and biggest cheerleader of pro player moves. What I mean by pro player moves are moves that benefit all players. I don't care if you're a free-to-play player. I don't care if you're a casual spender. I don't care if you're like me, which is a you know pretty good spender or a whale. Uh, what you want the game to do is evolve and occasionally benefit your loyalty to it. And so the Glory Store didn't exist for a long time. If you're starting out the game and you're like, Glory, what's that? Just know the glory that players brought to themselves was invisible for a long time. It was hopefully not shame. But if you brought glory to yourself, you couldn't cash that in. But now we have this glory store that's really fantastic. It is incredible. It is an opportunity to basically have the best, and I mean the best, free reward opportunities without having to jump into Alliance War. Because Tier 5 Basic Catalyst Fragments are now in the glory store, though pretty expensive. Tier 2 Alpha Catalysts, and then Tier 4 Basic, and even Tier 4 Class Catalyst, and then some of the best deals, particularly on Alliance Health Potions in the glory store as well. So there is going to be an update to the glory store, thanks to the forum post from today. And shout out also to Mr. Scott Morris, who alerted this in my recent live stream. And I asked if he could send over the screenshot, and he obliged, because we have bumped up the amount of fragments you can receive for many of our rarer catalysts. So, you'll notice that the glory crystal has been removed. What? Yep. We've increased the amount of fragments of a specific tier 4 class catalyst that you can purchase daily and reduce the cost of the greater glory crystal. After these changes, the original glory crystal didn't make sense to include anymore. I've been saying that for a while, so, uh, you know, that's cool. You will notice in the glory store update for November of 2019 that we have some fantastic changes. And the best change, at least the one that caught my eye, is that if you look at the eight day reset of the 2250 tier five basic fragments, it's only 900 glory for the first, 950 for the second, and 1000 for the third. That is awesome. The tier two alpha fragments, 300 and 325, it cost me over 800 now to get those two levels. That's also fantastic. You'll have some gold crystals if you need some gold, but I would not recommend using your glory to get gold. The level 4 Alliance Health Potion is one of my favorite things about the store. 260 glory. You can't beat it. It's probably the best deal, period. Tier 1 Alpha is down to 220, though if you're going to spend 220 glory on a Tier 2 Alpha, you might as well spend 300 on some Tier 2 Alpha fragments. Include, excuse me, if you're going to spend... Uh, 220 on tier 1 alpha, I should say. Half of a tier 4 basic is down to 300. So a fully formed tier 4 basic costs you 630. That ain't bad. And then sometimes I get told that tier 3 class catalysts are still difficult for people to get. I don't know why. Maybe they just don't like grinding events because I get so many fragment crystals and fully crystals from milestones in solo events. But... Uh, 200 glory gets you a tier 3 class catalyst, 150 for a 2, which that's pretty amazing. It is extremely difficult, almost impossible, I've never done it, to grind the tier 3 class catalyst uh, daily quest and to get a fully formed, like you just get a very small amount of tier 3 class catalyst fragments, but the difference between a tier 2, which you're guaranteed to get at least one if you 100% complete the map, versus tier 3 being only 50 glory, I mean, that's insane. I mean, I love it for Tier 3 class catalysts, but just think about the fact that there's a bigger difference between the Tier 1 and the Tier 2 for class catalyst prices in 80 and 150 being 70 in between, and 150 and 200, of course, being 50. That is an amazing difference, but hey, we shall take it. Uh, Kabam, you are making this more pro player, and I do think when people ask, why would Kabam do this? They're trying to incentivize people to make Alliance Quest harder, by adding those global buffs for extra points. My alliance may do that on you know the first couple days every once in a while, but we would rather take a little bit of a hit and still breeze through it with little to no stress than, uh, than have to worry. I do want to mention, because I haven't made a video on this yet, 
that the changes for Alliance Quest bosses just confirm, since I'm the world's worst at fighting Annihilus, and I'll never do map 7. And map 5, we'll see. Red Skull on paper, you're thinking, oh, that's not too bad against Morningstar, but if they do some BS like Red Skull autoblock, that's going to really suck. So hopefully they don't do that. But uh, this post concludes by just saying, it's go time! All of these updates will be live on November 15th, when the next series of Alliance Quest starts. Additionally, this series will feature no map cost, which is always a pro player move as well. Even if you want to get wrecked in map 7 with Annihilus, Lord help you if that's you. That sounds like something that is a literal nightmare for me in this game, fighting an Annihilus war boss or Alliance Quest boss for that matter. Are you a fan of the Glory Store changes? Are you worried about the new boss maps? Do you think that this is no big deal at all? Whatever you're thinking, comment below, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching and supporting my Marvel Contest of Champions YouTube channel, and thanks again to Scott Morris for alerting me, along with others, to this change so we can get the news out to the community as fast as possible.